Government 2305, Introduction to Federal Government, Ideas, Rights, and Power, The Spirit of American Politics, Chapter 1, Introduction. After completing the lessons in this chapter, you'll be able to understand the four key questions that guide the textbook. Contrast negative liberty with positive liberty. Distinguish between a democracy and a republican form of self-rule. Explain the concept of limited government and how it has evolved. Describe the roots of American individualism and contrast them to collectivism. Explain why the American dream remains a powerful and polarizing force in American politics. Contrast equality of opportunity with equality of income. Describe how religion has played an enduring role in American politics and society. Explain how the idea of diversity is exemplified by America as a mosaic of different groups. Assess how eight ideas about America have helped shape politics, culture, and political institutions. The infographics presented in this slide show us how American political ideas are apparent in our understanding and practice of politics, both as elected representatives and members of the electorate, those who actually choose who represent us, the voters. For instance, 10 is the number of times the word rights appears in the Declaration of Independence, yet 0 is the number of times the word rights appears in the original text of the Constitution, and 15 is the number of times that the word rights appears in the 27 amendments to the Constitution. 41 is the number of the Declaration's 56 original signers who owned slaves. That means roughly 76% of the signers owned slaves but signed a document calling for things such as liberty, freedom, and natural rights. 86 is the percentage of Americans today who say that a representative democracy is a good way to perform to govern the country. 40 is the percentage of Americans who support rule by experts. 17 is the percentage of Americans who support rule by the military. 53 is the percentage of total wealth in the United States that is owned by the top 1% of the population. 36 is the percentage of total wealth in the United States that is owned by the bottom 90% of the population. And 65 is the percentage of Americans who agreed in 2018 that government should act to reduce economic inequality. Clearly, when one looks at these numbers with an objective eye, there are disparities between how Americans see ourselves and, society, and as, as a society versus the traditional view of America as a shining city upon a hill that we will learn about in the next few lessons. The graphic represented in this slide is a word cloud display of, uh, that shows which words appear most often in the original text of the United States Constitution, not including the 27 amendments. There are several interesting points that appear. Clearly, United and States are prevalent, as we would, we would expect, but state on its own is the largest word indicating the important role that the individual states played in the framers' minds. President appears roughly the same amount of times as Congress, yet court, judicial, judges, and other words indicating a reference to the third branch of government are almost unnoticeable. Very little appears concerning the individual citizens, a concern felt by many of the framers which led to the Bill of Rights. To put this in relation to current political issues, see how long it takes you to find tax, debts, and money in this list. Why do you think there is such a disparity between what the framers put into the Declaration of Independence and the words and ideas contained in the United States Constitution, considering there was only an 11-year difference between the two? 